There's, a, there's a charm, too, about the Oriental woman that no Caucasian can summon. It, 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 it lies in her surrender, <laughs> her uh, obedience, her passivity, mm -hmm. her willingness to sacrifice, and all that, mm -hmm. which we don't believe in, don't right. you know? That's for sure. Mm. And then, have you ever noticed that how easily and readily they smile? Isn't that a wonderful thing? Do you ever find a Caucasian smiling so beautifully as they do? No, so I, bewitchingly, you know? I admit, they're... Huh? I admit that mm, the mm. Asian women are very beautiful mm. and uh, have many qualities that mm, are... Mm, that, mm. Yeah. Hard to refute. Now, I'm in love with a Chinese actress. Right now. And she's a woman in her 40s. Mm -hmm. She's no spring chicken, you know. Mm -hmm. I know her children, her daughters. And they're both beautiful, you know. I could fall in love with them, too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. But this woman who's in her 40s and been an actress is so unbelievably beautiful. I mean, that she looks 20 years younger than her actual age at mm -hmm. times. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe it. But I could show you photos. Mm. But tell me, in this Chinese divorce thing, mm -hmm. um, yeah. are the grounds very similar, you say, to our own? Huh? Incompatibility? tyranny of on the part of the male and so right, on. Right. Mm. And uh, yeah, the same stuff. All the same stuff. It didn't mm. seem any, any different, you know. Mm. They, they didn't have any children. The divorce was not granted. Oh, really? Uh, the judges felt that uh, they should try to, to work yeah, things out. Yeah. Uh, and there's no question that the Chinese are trying to, s to build a family unit. Yeah, you know? yeah, oh, so yeah. So they don't want to let people get off easily. Yes, know? yes. But at the same time, they don't want people to be together if they're going to be miserable. I see, know? So they I say, see. well, you know, it's a very difficult thing. They're very yes. honest about it. And it uh, is, it is, of course. Yeah. Of course it is. And the surprising thing is you said the judge was only 21 years old. Right. That's right. what's surprising. Because right. it's a communist country, and that's part of it, isn't it? That, mm -hmm. you know, anybody can get a whack at things. That's right. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, you never lived in any communist countries? No, I haven't, no. I don't know what that is. It'd be a wonderful To be, um, you know, suppressed and whatnot. My friend Durrell, the writer, you know, the Alexandria, right. he's lived in communist countries and hates them. <laughs> he's lived in Yugoslavia, uh -huh. Argentina, uh, Albania, you, uh, what is that, Bulgaria, uh -huh. you see what I mean? He hates it, hates it. Yugoslavia, he was nearly driven crazy there mm -hmm. by the spying on him. He was an Englishman. Well. You know, myself, I've always believed about myself that I could get along under any regime. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Because um, I feel I can overcome barriers I don't give a damn what your ideology is. I'd meet you as a human being, uh -huh. you know. Do you see? Right. But uh, I well, could be wrong. In all those countries, you know, there are many people that aren't communists. I mean, they don't call themselves communists, mm. but but live there and they live there very very well. I mean, they yeah, they yeah. work and they're productive and they they have good lives. You know? Yeah, yeah. And all over Cuba and China and Korea and all the places in North Korea. You mm. Know? Mm. So. <coughs> There are many people who aren't communists, you know. Yes, but yes. Who but they have to go along. You know, and they mm. participate, and they like it. Mm, mm. <coughs> There's one, a lot of people who don't like it, too, of course. But There's one thing about it, I'll agree. There is law and order. It there really is. It, it isn't chaos no, as it no. is here. Right, there's no crime. In China, there's no crime anymore. Mm, mm, mm. Marvelous thing, isn't it? There's no unemployment. Mm. Uh, and no dirt. No dirt. They've given and everyone no jobs. No prostitution. Right. Mm. All that's gone. I know. I know. Of course, it's wonderful in itself. 
Sure. Yeah. Tr- when you think of it, uh, the capitalistic countries, if we can call ourselves that, I don't know whether we are or not anymore. I don't know what we are, you know what I mean? But at any rate, we're chaotic. And uh, all the vices flourish, do you know? Flourish, don't they? That's right. Thievery, prostitution, mafia, everything. Everything. <laughs> and so different. They're every All that's been wiped out. Right. Yeah, there are many famous stories, you know, of uh, when, uh, when the Chinese, when the communists took over in China, yeah. One of the first things they did in Shanghai, and all the big but one of the first things they did was they took all the prostitutes off the street. I know. And they put them in camps to rehabilitate them. They oh, sent yeah. them to hospitals and they said, listen, you know, you were you were prostitute because you yeah. know why. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. had no money, you had this and that, and you know, yeah, yeah. we're going to change that. And we want to help you, you know. Yeah. And uh, there was a play, there was a movie, where the, uh, the somebody made a movie about the about this thing that happened in yeah, Shanghai. Yeah. And, uh, well, it was a play first, then they made it a movie, and the woman who plays the part was one of the prostitutes in this camp. And I it's see. A, it's a famous story in China where she plays herself, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, she, becomes a fam- she becomes famous because she's playing herself on the screen and, mm-hmm. uh, and goes on to be rehabilitated as a, mm-hmm. as a woman, you know, and mm-hmm. as a new person. Yeah, great stories, you know, very oh, human yes. and very, oh, yeah. very strong, I, I can touching believe, stories. You know? I believe it. Oh, sure. Yeah. Tell me, listen, tell me a little bit more, if you can, about the woman you know who's an actress, the Chinese woman. Her name is Sai Chin. Sai Chin. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And uh, she's is that S A I? T S A I. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, she's lived in England for a number of years. And she moved, she came to the United States just last year. Mm. And uh, she's trying to work here now, you know. But her father, I don't know what her father's name was, but her father was a very famous actor. Doesn't she find it difficult to work here, to to get a job? Oh, yeah, sure. So my friend couldn't get a job here. Very hard. With all her reputation. She's won three Oscars in Taiwan, you know. They have what they call the Golden Stallion Uh instead of an Oscar. (laughs) <laughs> and she won it three years in succession. And you know she can't get an agent who will try to place her? Mm. I believe it. Oh, well, it's terrible. Mm. They'll take an American actress and make her look like a Chinese right. try to act. Rather than hire mm, a Chinese mm, woman, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, if you think of it, Ask your friend, huh? I will. Mm. What's her name? The woman's name? Lisa Lou. Lisa Lou. Mm. I'll ask her, yeah. Mm. Put some water on. This is very good. You like that? Oh, very good. Very good. It's not, uh, it's not the, the best, Henry, but it's... No, it's good, though. It's good. Good to me. Yeah. Mmm. Well, it's healthy. You know, you call that tofu. There's a word tohu bohu. Do you ever, you ever hear that? No. Tohu bohu? No. That means like chaos. No. This is in the Bible, this word. I don't know it. Mm. Tohu bohu. I love it. How about some more? You want some more? I don't think I can eat anymore. Okay. Um, I have a little rice here. There's a little more gravy here, huh? Mm-hmm. Want a little more of this? Yeah, and a little of that. Of sure. that, yeah, just a little. Mm. Beautiful. It is beautiful. What are you going to do with this now? Put it in the fridge? Yeah. 
you yeah. know? I have a Negro nurse who comes every day. So mm -hmm. He washes me, he makes me breakfast, mm -hmm. and so on. He always looks in the ice box. Blame him. Mm -hmm. Well, if he has a good appetite, he'll have some of this for breakfast. I think he'll love this. Mm. He's a cook himself, you know. I've seen him. Yes. I was here once when he was Yes. Here. He makes my breakfast every morning. Uh huh. And I like him. I like him more and more as time goes on. He's a homosexual, uh -huh. but in, if I may say, in a, in a, not in an obnoxious way. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. I know what but we know that he is, you know. He doesn't deny it. Mm -hmm. And he has all the traits. For instance, he wears a new suit every day, complete new outfit. He never comes in the same thing twice. Would you believe that? That's great. Okay, yeah, it's more than a woman, you know. He must does. have a lot of money, huh? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. But he spends all his money on, on clothes. clothes right? Yeah. And then if he had any over, he'd spend it on a car. Well, this is good. Good meal. And we don't have that feeling we need meat when we eat this. This is great. Your friend Judy was a very interesting woman. I like she her. She wanted to come tonight. Yeah. But she uh, she has two children. Oh, I see. And she was, uh, her parents were coming mm. over to the house, you know. And yeah. She enjoyed coming over the other night. She enjoyed being at the party. Mm. It was fun. Is she not an actress, Judy? No. no. Mm. She, she should be. She struck me as an actress. <laughs> Well, she acts, you know, mm. how women act. You know. mm. yeah. You better be careful. This is on, be on videotape here. I better be careful what I say. I know most women are actresses in life. They are, yes. Mm. Yes. God, I was married to one who was both on the stage and in life, but more so in life, more of an actress right. in life. Right. It was terrific. It was always acting, always on stage. Right. Yeah. Does it ever change, Henry? Looking back and, I mean, from where you are now, did your feelings change a lot appreciably, like from the time you were? My feelings, you know, no. Feelings I have been... changed. I know that. Yeah. I've gotten more mellow. I was pretty bad. I was like my son, Tony, who I say is a son of a bitch to get along with. Yeah very arrogant. Uh -huh. I knew everything better than everybody else. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was I was difficult, yeah. But now I'm easy to get along with. Well, you learn to get, you learn to uh, surrender, as it were. Do you know what I mean? Is that what happens as you get older? You just do it more? Well, it happens with me. I don't know what it happens. I think it varies with people. Some get more crotchety. Some get more obstinate. Do you know what I mean? And others mellow. Mm. I guess it's better to get mellow. I don't know. I think so. I think so. Because I feel sorry for my old self and all those like me who are always banging their heads against the door, trying to open it. Mm -hmm. And if they had only stood aside, the door would open by itself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Give it a chance. Mm. You think that's true? Do the doors always open? I think the door is ready to open by itself. But this is figuratively speaking. Yes, naturally. Yeah. I think the harder you push, it becomes. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm. So Asian thinking. Yes, I know it. I think I have a lot of the Orient in me. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Mm. We all should have more of that in us, I think. What? I say all of us should have more of the Orient in us. Oh, yeah, us, I think know? so. Sure. I think so. And what we need also is more femininity. Yeah. That's very interesting. Um, 
We need, I don't mean we need to be more like homosexual, not at all, but we need to be softer, more flexible, more passive, more surrendering, don't you know? Mm. You had many ingredients, didn't you, in here? Yep. Mm. I'm trying to recall what it all is that I tasted. <laughs> Eggplant. Mm. What's that? Broccoli. Broccoli. Mushrooms. Onions. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you cook for yourself usually? Is that yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. I love to cook. Mm. It's one of the pleasures in life that I've. That I've been able to Would you believe that when I was in Paris, I cooked yeah. not only for myself but for my friends, uh -huh. and on a two burner stove, you know. It's so much fun, you know, to cook. I know it. I know. People take it so seriously most of the time, you know, because I mean, mm, uh, mm. they're afraid of it. You know what I mean? They don't. They just. They don't, you know, they don't open up to it, you know. In Paris, every night I had good wine. Yeah. Wonderful wine. Yeah. Well, it's good you can still drink wine, that's for sure. Oh, you're gonna yeah. You're going to be, what, 84? You're going to be 84 Friday or something? Yeah. Mm, mm. My grandfather, you know, is still alive. He's an old Roman, and he drinks wine, still drinks it. Uh, yeah, is he, he Italian? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. He used to make his own wine, you know, him and his brother. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? They've drank it all their lives, and he's 80, he's mm. 82 or something now. 80, yeah, 80, yeah. 82. And he still drinks it, and it's good. It certainly is good for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. No question about it. You see, we here would say that the Italians have too much cholesterol in their food. Right. They drink all, they eat all that pasta, right. Right. you know, huh? and the cheeses. But they get along just fine on it, it seems to me. They do. They live to mm. the ripe old age, for sure. Mm. You see, we now, when we eat, we're always worrying, well, should we have this, should we eat that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is a bad way to begin a meal, isn't it? Sure is. You know. Well, this was delicious, really. Well, I'm glad you liked it, Henry. Mmm, mmm. I guess it's Merry Christmas, mm, I guess. Mmm, that's fine. You're right about the red wine. It's much better. Yeah. Much nicer. I think so. Yeah. Oh, you've got something on me. That's your, mic. That's your microphone. Yeah, I forgot it was on. Mm. I know. Uh, Merry Christmas, sir. Mm, right, right. You don't speak any Italian, huh? Mm.